Hey everybody, I'm back. This time around, um, as you can probably tell from the start of this video, it's pretty much all going to be about Dreadball. I picked this up at Adepticon this year. Last year they had a Kickstarter that they that Mantic Games put out, the guys that manufacture Dreadball, and it took off like a storm. I didn't pick it up, unfortunately, until this year at Adepticon, and I'm hooked. So I've been doing all kinds of accessories and those sorts of things for the game so I could do my own custom version of it. So, we'll get the wonderful Dreadball box out there, out of the way. And we go to the Dreadball board. The Dreadball game board is pretty straightforward. I mean, it's your standard board game style board. I wanted something a little bit different, something that fit my team and that you have home and away teams or home and visitor, depending on how you talk to. And it just seemed kind of nice, but I wanted something I'd be able to customize. So... Enter this. This is a laser cut one. Now, Mantic does offer their own laser cut one. Um, this would be kind of my take on that, I guess. The, the board itself normally would come with wood inserts. So, for, the, for your scoring zones, this would be an example of one of them that I did. And these are actually custom engraved with team names. So, there we go, try and center that. So this one is for my orc team, the Orax Tuskers. Figured I wanted something that said orc, but I didn't want it to say orc, you know. So I wanted something a little bit different. And then I did another one for my other team, my um, Judd Wynn team, the Zen Dragons. So they've got their little dragon and then a dribble symbol. But what this is, though, is an all wood. It's available in all wood. It'll also be available in all acrylic. Um... So if you're wanting to paint it or not paint it, you can. The kit is modular in that it's actually multiple pieces. So you have a center section, two of these end type sections, and then your scoring and um, excuse me, your scoring and your turn counter sections. So that way, all the pieces, even though I've got them here taped together, so that I don't bump the table and those sorts of things, um, all the pieces will fit in the original box. So that way, if you're storing yours in a box, you can. Or if you're like me, and you put everything in foam, and you don't really have a very big foam bag for your team, because your team doesn't take up a lot of space, this would allow you to fit it all into one small space, which is really nice. But the idea with the board was, besides having just the regular hexes, I also did a little bit of an inset. So there's a little engraved lip. Let me see if I can zoom down into that so you can see it a little bit better. And that's as close as I can get, so we're going to have to bring the camera closer. So, let's, here we go. There. Alright, should show up a little bit better. But there's a little engraved, little engraved section right there. What that is, is to just give it a little bit more character than just the flat squares. Now, some of the early ones I showed had even more texture, and they're available also, in fact... I mean, this one, this is a larger board that I did, but you can see it's got a nice texture. This is one that I'm still painting on. So once I get this one completed and painted, you'll get to see it and it'll, you'll get to see it in its entirety. But this was kind of the prototype one. That particular one is the one that I'm putting lights and stuff on and all other kinds of cool stuff. So we'll see how that turns out. But with this, it's a nice basic wood. You can sand it, paint it however you want. In fact, this one I am about to, after I finish this video, I'm going to go ahead and throw some primer on it and start getting it painted so I can have it painted up and ready for my next game. But also to go with it, what I did, seeing how I normally do the insets in wood, I decided to do some in acrylic for this one. So, and I hate the way that this does this. Unfortunately, this is a purple acrylic, but with the lighting, it's coming out kind of blue. Um, I may have to adjust that in the camera to see if I can do some color correction or something. But, and these will be available separately, so you'll be able to order it in wood, all in one set, with custom engraving or without. But you can also do custom ones in acrylic that will fit, or should fit, the official board. Um, I've checked the measurements on them, but I haven't checked against an official board yet. I'm still trying to find somebody that has purchased one of the Mantic acrylic ones. And unfortunately, nobody in my area has one. Now, if you're, willing to, if you're wanting to send me one of them, just kidding. I know you guys aren't going to send me one. Um, but this way, we can make sure that they'll fit into those. I also even did the 
your bench area. So I did signs for those. So this is my Zen Dragons one with the logo. Um, my other team is, as I mentioned, the Orax Huskers. Tuskers, excuse me. I also did the tokens for them. And I'll try and tilt that so you can kind of see it that are engraved as well. So you have your um, coaching tokens. Yes, I know there is six there and you only need five for the game. I did extras. Actually, in the set, I think it'll be either eight or ten um, that come with it. I'm still figuring out how much slack space I have on the on the cut when I go to do it. And the main reason for the extras is you're going to lose one. You may lose two. This way you're covered and you have some extras. Um, extras are always good. But this is kind of the entire board. Let me see if I can zoom this back out. But it's the entire board, and we'll come back up here a little. Right, here we go. Sorry for the shaking. Cheap tripod. But that's the entire board, all set for a game. Um, as far as team names, we've got a few different teams that I'm working on, so I'm doing all different kinds of team logos and those sorts of things. Um, but if you have a custom team, so if you're a coach and you know what you want your team's named and you've got a logo for them, send it to us. We'll engrave it. So that's really it for this one for now. Um, there are a few additional pieces that will be going with this set, such as you'll get markers for the um, for whose turn it is or which, which phase you're in, as well as what your scoring is. So there will be a couple additional markers. One thing I did not mark on this one, if you notice, I included, like for example, I included your um, where you're coming in off the bench, but I did not include the referee square. Main reason I left the referee square out was, number one, it made it easier to cut. Number two, I don't know necessarily if I like having that checkerboard referee square. And I'm pretty sure I'm not alone in that. So for those custom painters out there, they may want to paint that square a different color or do something different with it. And that gives them kind of an option. Um, as always, it's all about the options. But this is just one of the designs that we're going to have. There will be multiple designs for the pitch itself. So like, for example, you had the deck plate one that I showed you in the silver. This one is just a smooth finish one. There may be additional others. If you have an idea for one, let us know. We can probably put it into a product. Anyway, that's really it for now. Talk to you guys later.